come along with me as I make my first jelly plate for jelly plate printing. Okay, first you'll need vegetable glycerin and some powdered gelatin, I got mine from Amazon, and some water. I used Linda's recipe. First combine your cold water and glycerin, you can kind of see the separation there. Then you very slowly, very slowly add and stir your gelatin. I cannot emphasize slow mixing enough, this is sped up by like a hundred times. It helps prevent air bubbles. Then you add your hot water again very slowly to your mixture. You can see I add it here along the side to prevent those air bubbles. The bubbles will come back to haunt you. Then again some more slow stirring and after the slow stirring and everything is combined you will add the other part of your glycerin. After that, you want to pour it into a container with a nice smooth bottom. And this begins my cat Artemis' obsession with the glycerin plate. She would not leave it alone, hence the foil. She still wouldn't leave it alone, so I had to move it. After it sets overnight, we get this wonderful, beautiful, squishy thing. Look at it, it's so squishy. Then you want to carefully pull it out of your plate and it's so very oddly satisfying. This plate turned out so much more transparent than all of the tutorials that I saw online. I think it has something to do with my gelatin that I used. But like, look at how clear it is. And look at how wiggly it is. Wow! So wiggly. You can trim off the excess and microwave it into a new plate.